So I came to check the usual uh, spot for snakes and I managed to find this guy. Just a young fox turtle. Damn that full grown yet. He hasn't fully wanted to enclose. He's been kind of somewhat hanging out with me. But I feel like this is a good way to start the video because I am actually not going to be hitting the usual spots today. I am heading to Tennessee for a place that I love to herb at that I have not been to in years. Target's going to be marbled salamanders, which we're probably going to see in abundance. But it's got a really good snake variety too. Uh, Cottonmouth, probably. <laughs> but if we're lucky, we can get some uh, rat snakes. Uh, there's a few other species of water snakes besides plain belly, which I don't know why the most common water snake around here has eluded me for so long this year. But we're sure to get one eventually. Coming out? Yeah, it's okay. Come and say hi. But, uh, I have seen banded water snakes there. And... Uh, there's some, there's a few decays brown. Alright, I'm gonna get some pictures of this guy since he's being a little social. And release him and we will be heading to our destination. After I make a quick pit stop to check the water snake spot. Now this guy's starting to come out a little bit more, uh, just as I'm about to get to release him too, so. <laughs> uh, oh, there he goes. Why are you running? Why are you running? All right, I'm just gonna release this guy back where I found him. Right at the edge of this, oops, sorry. Right at the edge of this little ditch line. That, really down there towards the water. He was hanging out right here. So I think he was wanting to go this way. So that's where we'll set him up at. All right, little buddy, you're free. Go do box turtle things. Gorgeous. So, no snakes at the uh, usual spot. But, plenty of other reptile activity. There was a ground skink hanging out when I first got up there. There's this huge red ear that likes to bask down at the bottom. He took off. Uh, there was the box turtle. And then, after I released him, there was a toad. So, plenty of herps are out right now. Which is a good sign for where we're headed. Because I want this to be a good day, and it feels like it should be. It's hot, it's not too hot. Nice mix of sunny and overcast. Let's have some good luck. All right, so no luck with the snake uh, spot. So we are now heading to our destination. A nice little nature trail park area in Tennessee that has turned up a lot of great stuff over the years. Haven't been there in years. Hopefully it's roughly the same. Maybe C-19 has kept, you know, uh, a lot of traffic down, which would only be better for us. Uh, <laughs> so, we'll see. Let you know when we get there. Bye. Alright, and here we are. That was a quick transition. Saved me a 30 minute drive. <laughs> no, not really. But we're here. I hope. <laughs> like I said, been years. Uh, I'm at the park. I think this is the nature trail. If not, oh well, we'll worry about it later. Yep, here we are. I'm gonna walk on the uh, board trail just to get past this little swamp, water, whatever area. And then, hopping off and getting a closer look at the uh, locals. And away we go. All right. The hunt is now on. 
first herp of the... Oh. All right, then. First herp of the trip. Not exactly the most exciting. Fine, but hey. Little toad. Where are your amphibian friends at? I'm looking for salamanders. All right, so I just flipped this log. And we found our second herp of the trip. And it was our target. That marble salamander right there. He's starting to take off. Where you go? Yep. Did I, uh... <laughs> Did I wait too long? Alright, well that salamander dipped, but that's okay. We're guaranteed to see a lot more. Oh, shouldn't change myself. Almost guaranteed to see a lot more. A lot of these, these woods are kind of rotting, so not the best flip material, but you know, we get what we get. Maybe we'll see a deer. Second find of the day. Slimy salamander. Let's see if I can't pull this guy out real quick and get a closer look at him. Not the most ideal, but there he is. <laughs> I'm going to get some pictures of this guy. He's a nice size. Uh, which is not quite the salamander we're after today. But I'm not going to disturb him too much. I don't want to get too hands on with him because, you know, I don't want to kill him. <laughs> basically. So, pictures and then back home. And now you're just looking at my shirt. All right, now for the favorite part of everything. Well, I was going to say the release. He wants to go back under that log. That's fine. All right, whatever. You're not going to have the most exciting on capture release. We're rounding up. And it might be close to the end. And if so, and this is the last thing we see, kind of a funny way to end it off. Kind of starting where we began. Or, you know, ending where we began. Hello, little guy. You're a little juvie, aren't you? Don't really have any pattern going on either on your face. Small guy, smaller than the one we caught yesterday. With my hand for reference. <laughs> Get a couple of pictures. Leave them where we found them. And uh, maybe keep going. I might circle back around again, trying to get that marbled salamander. We'll see. Stopping to eat lunch, uh, debating whether or not I'm gonna keep going to uh, get my marbled target. But uh, issue with leaving your lunch uh, out in the car in the heat. Your cheese might melt. Well. Worried about the fact I didn't have a drink. Lucky for me, heat did the job for me. Look at that chocolate shake drink candies. Okay, so. Ate some food, calm down, calm down, cool down just a little bit. It's 86 degrees right now, and I'm thinking I'm going to hit it up one more time. There's one more spot I hadn't checked. really want that marbled. I can get that marbled, or a snake, but hope, in a weird case, preferably a marbled. Uh, I'm satisfied. And you will see this. If you are seeing this, this means we at least found a snake. Hopefully, and then we found a marble salamander. You might know in three, two, one. Another find of the day. A little cricket frog. Hi. Closer look at this guy before I let him go. Focus. Focus. There we go. Uh, 
Alright guys, well, since we didn't find a snake and I didn't get a proper capture of a marble salamander, I decided to end the video how I started it back here and wanted to take a quick glance around just to see if I could find anything in my own area and sure enough, I got a cotton mouth right there. So, give me a second, let me pull this guy out and get a better look at him. All right, here we go. <sighs> nice young cotton mouth. Not all too happy to see us, obviously. <sighs> Trying not to use the tongs if I don't need them. At least he's something. Something we see kind of regularly, but you know, I don't want to Leave you guys feeling empty handed. As you can see though, he is just, oh, there's a gate. Just trying to get away. Doesn't want to bite, although he did bite the uh, tongs when I first grabbed them, but that's understandable. He was trying to get away. Not trying to chase me. You know, he just wants to run away. Nice, pretty markings. All right. He's far enough from the park that I think I can just leave him be. So I am going to release him where I found him and we will be on our way. All right, there he goes. Back into his little home. You might not be able to see him. He was pretty quick about getting away. Yeah, you can just sort of see him sticking out right there. Oh well. Next time we are getting that marble salamander for sure. And till then, goodbye.